Hi and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I want to show you two things. First, how to import matrix options on NetSuite and how to fix the problem that these matrix options are not available even when you manually create matrix items or when you try to import them. So to begin with, you have to start with the CSV file on Excel. Okay, so you have to have these three columns, matrix name, matrix options and abbreviation. Of course, you'll adapt this to your needs. I think this speaks for itself, the size with different sizes and the abbreviation for each matrix option. The color, the abbreviation for each color and the fabric. Now, once you've got this, you can go to NetSuite and you can go to setup, import, export, and you'll go to import CSV records. In my case, I already prepared this for you so the video is not too long because we all know uh, that uh, mapping these fields can take a few seconds and who's got seconds to waste, right? So what you'll want to do is use the import type customization. The record type will be custom list and based on your Excel uh, saved format, it could be CSV column delimiter semicolon or comma, uh, depends. Now uh, you select your file and you click on next. Now if there's nothing to do here, yeah, you just leave it on add and click on next. Okay, NetSuite will have mapped most, well, the free uh, fields, hopefully, uh, for you already because of the name you gave them on your Excel document. But if not, just make sure that you, you assigned the right fields to what NetSuite requires. But don't forget something in the custom list. Uh, you will see that there is a matrix option list. So here, you see, this, this is the custom list. And here you see the matrix option list. You have to add this to your mapping and you have to set this to yes. Because if you don't let NetSuite know that this is a matrix option list, it's just going to import as just another custom list without actually being used in the matrix management of NetSuite. Now, once you're ready here, you click on next, you give it a name, uh, and then you save and run the import. Once you've saved and run the import, you will see that within your custom list, you're gonna find size, color, and fabric. So what does this mean? It means that if you go to customization, list records, and fill lists, you're gonna find your size, your color, and whatever matrix you wanted to use on NetSuite and that you successfully imported, you're going to find it on those lists. You just have to scroll down and look for them. Now, once the lists are there, uh, you can always add to them if you need to, but you'll have to go on, on this list here, click on the right matrix list. For example, here, if I go, let's try and find color, for example. Okay, here's color. Okay, if I go to color and you will see here, I've got, the, I've got some values that were on the Excel document. Now I can add new values here. Now bear in mind, just adding values here will not create uh, matrix items accordingly. You'll have to go back to your item and then just add more matrix items. Now this is a tutorial for another time, you know, on how to update matrix items, but I just thought you should know. Now you will see here, because we set this matrix option list yes on the import uh, mapping, you see this is ticked here. Now if you don't want to import the, uh, the data because maybe you don't have that many matrix uh, options to import, then you can create them manually by going to customization, list records and field, list new, and then you just give it a name. Just don't forget to say matrix option yes give the values here. Now, once you've done this, uh, and also don't forget the abbreviation, of course. 
once you've done this, uh, you will still not be able to find these uh, colors, sizes, and fabrics whenever you go to your matrix item assistant or even if you create, you try to create a new matrix item. Why? Because you still have to do one additional thing. You have to go to customization, list records and fields and create an item field, one item field per matrix. So one for color, one for size and one for fabric, for example, because this is what we had, you see, size, color, fabric. Now you're gonna to have to go and create one custom field. It's very strange, but you will see that it actually works. So when you go to your item fields, let's take one that's already been created on NetSuite. So let's look for color. Okay, here it is. You will see here that uh, when we created this field, we said that it was only available on inventory items, and we said that it was a matrix option field. We set store value to yes, and then on the display, instead of putting the subtab main or no subtab at all, we set it to matrix. Okay, that's it. There's nothing else you need to do. So now if you go to your list, accounting items new and you try to create a new uh, matrix let's say uh, inventory item okay you can go to the assistant or you can go and create your matrix item manually you will be able to see your color available for you to select which color or which colors this item is available in okay so that's all for today on the next video i'm going to show you how to import matrix items on NetSuite because there are some intricacies to it. So I want to split that in two videos so that the videos are not too long. And hopefully you enjoyed this one. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.